Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Andre with Yup, I Said It. Thank you for joining me. Please go ahead, like, share, and subscribe, especially if you're new to this channel. I really would like help with that, guys. Uh, this channel is growing, but I, it can only grow with you. We are all together. We are all one. So please help support this channel by like, sharing, and subscribing, and hitting the bell notification. Very important that you hit the bell notification. That way you get all of the updated videos. If you like this channel, of course. Now look. Today, 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 man, uh, liars are, they will never stop lying. They, they can't, especially when the truth starts to really come out. Now, people can try to hold the truth back. You can, I mean, you know, everybody knows this. You can try to hold the truth back and it may drip, drip, drop for a little while. One day, the levy is going to break. One day, the floods are going to come. One day is coming. All right. All of the truth is going to pour right out. Uh, so they can try to hide it, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to come right through the cracks, okay? Uh, Nancy Pelosi is totally responsible for January 6th. How do I know that? Because she said it out of her own mouth, okay? It doesn't surprise me. I'm really not shocked about it. We knew uh, all this stuff when they tried to hide the January 6th tapes, and Kevin McCarthy tried so, so hard to get him to release all the January 6th tapes. And it was just a Tucker Carlson went through it, and it was just it was a big mess. A lot of footage, right? A lot of footage, man. But they tried to hide the truth when we got it on videotape. How can you lie when it's on videotape? These people literally will try to lie when it's on videotape. We, we play you back saying what you said, proving that we have been right all along and you still deny it. <laughs> you got to be a fool. Like you have to be a fool. Uh, you know, but they're going to get what's coming to them. Uh, you know, they've been stealing money from the American people for a long time. We're going to vote them out. They got to go. All these people that have got to go far away from the White House, far away from the Capitol, far away from it all. They need to go in nursing homes, most of them. But, you know, I'm going to show you a couple of clips today. And we're going to walk through this because uh, Nancy Pelosi, in my opinion, needs to go to jail. I don't care how old you are. I don't care if your dentures are stuck to your mouth. I don't care if they keep falling out. I don't care about any of that, okay? I don't care about your age and how feeble you are. Uh, you know what you've done, all right? You know what you've done, Nancy. And uh, we got you on tape saying it. You're responsible for the Capitol riots. You're responsible. Trump tried to send the National Guard three days earlier. We all know that he said that on MSNBC, all right, uh, with Christian Welker. He said that. He told everybody, we know it. Uh, we knew Nancy Pelosi was in charge of National Guard. It doesn't surprise me. I'm going to roll this clip. Take a look. responsibility Terry we did not have any accountability for what was going on there and we should have this is ridiculous you're going to ask me in the middle of the thing when they've already breached the, the uh, inaugural stuff that, that uh, uh, should we call the Capitol Police I mean the uh, National Guard why weren't the National Guard there to begin with they thought that they had sufficient resources. No, that is not a question of how they have been. They don't know. They clearly didn't know, and I take responsibility for not having them just prepare for Need any more proof? Do you need any more proof, okay? Uh, like, it, it's taken a long time for people to understand, like, what's happening here. Uh, and it's because, for instance, this video and this clip, was sort of hard to find. The New York Post posted this. I don't know if you guys know this, but YouTubers, we can take a link and put it into something called like an Ecamm program. I have Ecamm where I can paste this link inside of my program and I, that enables me to do reaction videos to it. But when things like this come out, and like for instance, the story in Georgia I was talking about a while ago at the elections, they made it so that uh, YouTubers couldn't spread this as fast as they like to. Basically, you, you weren't allowed to take that clip and put it into your program. They block it. You know, it says something like your browser can't post this or whatever. Uh, but so we have to go around and search for from other YouTubers. So that's why I actually got this clip. Crazy. So they don't want you to have this information. Back to their old tricks when they suppress things on Twitter. Remember that? Oh, they've always done it. It's, it's one of their uh, favorite moves. It's one of their best moves uh, uh, that they, uh, you know, block things, uh, you know, so that you can't spread the word. But too late, Nancy. We got the clips. <laughs> it's already out there. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. You know, the police, Capitol Police. Nancy, we got it. All right. We know you don't know what to do with your damn hands, but we know what to do uh, with our computer programs to get these uh, clips out here. You know, 
Uh, but also, I want to show you guys this clip here. It, it's unbelievable. that Nancy Pelosi still going to lie uh, about uh, not being responsible for this or try to finagle her way out of it. And it's just not going to work because we already have the clips. They're surfacing. Everybody's spreading the word. I'm going to go ahead and react to this. California Democratic Congresswoman, the Speaker Emerita, Nancy Pelosi. Madam Speaker, nice to see you. Thank you for being here. My pleasure to be here. Thank you, Nicole. Why do you think this is stirred up and a brouhaha on the on the right and in some corners of the media today? Well, because of the uh, the fact is that the president of the United States, the former president, and his toadies. Does she have a Ukraine flag? I don't see any American flags on these people ever. Is she from the Ukraine? Or is she from the United States of America? They love the Ukraine, bro. It must be some reason. I think that we're going to find out that Lindsey Graham loves minerals. The United States wants to do business with the Ukraine. That's why they all walk around and keep funding the Ukraine to keep walking around with their flags on. That's another video. But just notice that Ameri- uh, uh, I'm sorry. Just notice that Ukraine flag and Nancy uh, Pelosi keeps rocking. Crazy. Do not want to face the facts. They're trying to do revisionist history on January 6th. But we cannot let us be uh, dragged into their, again, uh, false impression of what happened that day. They know what happened that day. They know how serious it is and was and continues to have an impact. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, so Nancy Pelosi saying that they're trying to do revisionist history. We're trying to change it up here. Uh, to make it seem like it's her fault. Didn't she just now say that it was her fault? I quote, this is what Nancy Pelosi said. Why weren't there National Guards there to begin with? <laughs> they, She said, they clearly didn't know, and I take responsibility for not having them just prepared for more. Okay? She said, I take responsibility for not having them just prepared for more. You can't make this up, bro. Like, she's denying this again. Like, it's crazy. You clearly know that you were responsible. Trump asked for these National Guard troops to be there three days in advance. Duh. We know that people are going to be coming there. Everywhere Trump goes, there's a big crowd. That's why he did that. Duh. Okay, Nancy Pelosi wants you to believe that uh, oh, some, it's somehow Trump's fault that, you know, all his uh, people were there, all of the Trump supporters were there, uh, and it just got out of control. For no reason. Like, it doesn't matter who was going to be president. It would probably be out of control anyway. But calling the National Guard would have probably been a good idea, as Nancy Pelosi said herself. And she's responsible. Nobody else. Okay? Let Trump start showing. Watch all the evidence coming out when Trump shows the letters with Miriam Bowser, uh, the mayor of uh, Washington, D.C., when she rejected and declined the National Guard. And Trump has it in a letter. Okay, how are they going to keep denying this? It's crazy. Impact on our country. And yet they want to call the the people who were in there um, hostages. Last night I received the Lincoln Award. I was so proud of receiving that. And I said in my remarks, Lincoln built the dome on the Capitol. He insisted that it be built during the Civil War so that it could um, uh, show the resilience of America. And to see these people coming through the Capitol with their foul deeds and foul actions waving... Okay. All right, Nancy. All right. Calm down. Calm down, Nancy. Um, Maybe you had too much to drink today, but uh, Nancy Pelosi shouldn't talk about President Lincoln. She shouldn't talk about Abraham Lincoln. She shouldn't. All right. Every right that we have that Abraham Lincoln fought for and stood up for, they're trying to strip it away from us. Okay. With their lies, their deceit, and their overbearing governments. All right. Uh, Nobody's going to tolerate it. All right. They tried to hide this clip. New York Post New York uh, Post posted this, and I want you guys to understand that they try to make it hard for YouTubers to actually go ahead and uh, react to this video. But we found I found the clip anyway. So um, also, they won't allow comments uh, on on this uh, MSNBC uh, uh, interview here with Nancy Pelosi. I wonder why they won't allow comments. I wonder why they turn the comments off. Hmm. Gee. Uh, wh- why would they have done something like that? Mm. Uh, but Nancy Pelosi shouldn't talk about Abraham Lincoln. These people don't care about America. Don't let them fool you, okay? They sway back and forth just like the waves. Whoever is popular, whoever's doing whatever, as long as they hate Donald Trump, we don't care. You know, we'll, Yeah, they are hostages in January 6th. In my opinion, they're hostages. 
They need to be freed. Uh, the guys didn't do anything wrong. All right. They're painting a really bad picture about January 6th, and it's made up. All right. Yeah, it got a little bit wild, but not like they're talking about. All right. Rest in peace to Ashley Babbitt, by the way. Okay. And Nancy Pelosi never said that. Confederate flags and Nazi flags under Lincoln's dome was so shameful. And yet this president who incited, this former president who incited this insurrection would not send the... I, I haven't seen any, any if, if anybody has any uh, pictures of flags, Nazi flags under the Lincoln Dome, please send them to me in the comments. Okay, uh, please send a link to me to a video or something where I can see these. Because Nancy Pelosi lies continually. All right, I, I don't believe that anybody was there uh, with those flags. If they do, look, there's pride flags being waved all around. We don't agree with that either. All right, but, but people are allowed to fly their flags wherever they are. All right, it's not a flag that we're heard about. It's overbearing government, and it's the lies that people are being affected by every single day and being divided by the mainstream media lies, just like this right here. The National Guard for hours. People were harmed. People were killed, but died one way or another. And what did he do but try? To she said they died one way or another. I thought that the January 6ers supposedly had took a lot of people out. Isn't that what we heard at first? Now she's saying they died some way or another. Oh, like you mean days later? Wait until the truth starts to really come out, man. Wait until the truth starts to come out because truth seekers find the truth. You can't keep hiding it, okay? To deny that any of it happened. This is a terrible thing. But let us not take away the attention of what we need to do to go forward. We have to unify our country. We have to bring people together. It's very strange to hear Nancy Pelosi talking about bringing people together, man. Because during the summer of love, they tore up the country, okay? Remember what happened out in Portland, Oregon? How they closed the streets off and, and did all that weird stuff as they closed the policemen out? You remember that? You, nobody talked about that. No, they, 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 all they talked about was how mad the protesters were, how angry they were when they burned cities down, burned courthouses. Nobody said a word about it. All those institutions but when nancy pelosi saw the, all those people at the capitol it freaked her out okay it freaked her out she probably never seen that many people okay she's probably never seen that many people all at one time all right that's why trump told her you, know, you better be ready for this we better get the national guard out there which was a smart idea all right now if when trump can prove this when he can and i'm pretty sure it's, the evidence is out there but when when the world sees that trump called for the national guard Nancy Pelosi denied it. So did Miriam Bowser. When, he, when the world can see that, then what is she going to say? They're running out of options here. They are running out of options. They're running out. And their lies are being covered by the truth. It's just coming all out, folks. Just, it, you know, it's very, very crazy times we're living in, man. We, the people, have power over the government. That's what this is about here. Read the Constitution. I suggest everybody study it. I am. I'm always studying it. So, guys, let me know what you think about this. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm always outraged about the lies. I can't stand it, you know. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the bell notification. Share the videos. You guys, we can, we can do this, all right? We can do this all together. I got a membership, guys. You can join my channel uh, for exclusive videos. Once I see people joining it, once I see uh, people are interested, I'm going to make exclusive content just for you. All right, we're going we're gonna to have uh, talks about things just for you. And all depending on which tier you join, we can have one-on-ones as well. That's something I like to do anyway. I'll, I'll probably do it for free, but, you know, it, support the channel. That's, that's what's really important to me here is that I get to support from this channel so I can continue doing this. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep doing this over and over every day, every chance I get. Even with three children, a cleaning business, uh, and homeschooling. You know, you, you wouldn't believe it. You follow me around every day, you, your head's going to be spinning. But I still find time to do this. Uh, but I want to I take my uh, cleaning company and just uh, pass that along, maybe make some side money on it and just give out the jobs rather than have to go do it myself, to be totally honest. So, you know, we, we, we do pretty good. We've uh, managed to do really well in our cleaning company, making six figures. Uh, but 
you know, I, it's something that is, you know, it's, uh, I'd rather spend time in the gym, basically. <laughs> Doing my physical work, I'd rather spend time in the gym. But guys, thank you so much for all your support, no matter what. Just thank you for watching. I really appreciate that, no matter what. Even if nobody ever supports my channel, I'm still going to do it. Uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm not getting paid to do this. So uh, let me know again what you think in the comments about Nancy Pelosi getting called out again. Uh, and they're trying to run cover. It's not going to work. I love you guys. Thank you.